Labor Day is still more than two weeks away, but Chicago public pools will be closing to swimmers starting this Sunday. As many of its lifeguards, they are heading back to school. And the Park District isn't the only one cutting this swimming season short. Kia is back with an announcement from Indiana State Parks. Yeah, definitely. Sally and Anthony, this is not the announcement that people want to hear, but the nationwide lifeguard shortage has reached the Indiana Dunes. And starting tomorrow, the state park will be closed for swimming. Ginger Murphy is the deputy director for stewardship at Indiana State Parks and joins us now. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks, Tia. It's great to be here. Yeah, let's talk about this because, you know, we've been talking about this lifeguard shortage well before we even got into the summer. At one point, we do know that the park was open. So what has happened during this time that it's now closed because there's not enough lifeguards? Well, it's the same thing that's happening with the Chicago pools. Our lifeguards have all gone back to school and many of our guards are college students, so they're back on campus and preparing to go back into class and they just are not here to work this weekend. Makes complete sense. So tell people at home what are the rules because they can still actually go into the water, right? Yes, people can be on the beach and they can go into the water and wade up to waist deep. We just ask that they not swim and not go out any deeper than waist deep. So if you're a kid, that's waist deep. If you're an adult, that's waist deep. And we will have our law enforcement folks and our park staff on hand checking on that and monitoring that. And that's for safety purposes. Now, Ginger, I get exactly what you're saying about a lot of the lifeguards had to return back to, to school. Can you tell us what's going on behind the scenes to get lifeguards on the job now, especially ahead of the busy Labor Day weekend? Well, we are certainly still talking with our guards and hoping that we can get them to come back for Labor Day weekend. We just ask that people keep an eye on the Indiana Dune State Park Facebook page, on the State Parks Facebook page, and we will give people notice on any progress we make on that. Such a beautiful beach, that is for sure. Beyond, though, <laughs> the lifeguard shortage, can you talk about other factors contributing to the beach being closed? Yes, we, we believe it's important to have guards in Indiana Dunes if people are gonna swim because of the rapidly changing lake conditions. We're at the southern tip of Lake Michigan, and so we have rip currents that can occur really quickly, and those are very difficult to swim out of. There's a, ch a shifting sand in the where the beach is, any place along that lake shore that makes, you can be walking at thigh deep water and then suddenly you're at waist deep water pretty quickly. So, and we also have a lot of people who are at our beach and using our beaches. So the lifeguards are important and it's important that we stay safe and just wade basically up to waist deep this weekend. Ginger, before we let you go, if there's anyone actually watching this newscast and they say, hey, I'm qualified to be a lifeguard, is there any place they can go and actually apply for maybe one of these jobs? Well, I think the best thing to do would be to give the property office a call at Indiana Dunes State Park. Um, there is also a, a jobs base online at um, it's on.in.gov DNR jobs, not just for lifeguard positions, but for other fall positions that we have available. All right, Ginger Murphy, the deputy director for stewardship at Indiana State Parks. Thank you so much for being with us and have a great weekend. You too. Thanks for covering this.